everyone and welcome back to my channel i just woke up so i might sound a little bit honestly like just kind of deceased in this video um so today i wanted to go check out the new writing club updates as many of you know i'm a club owner myself so i thought it'd be interesting if i could give y'all a perspective of what all of the updates are and how you can use them as an actual club owner um, so that you can see each of those updates without having to like ask your club owner or like you know <laughs> um, you know like if you're just a member um, you don't really get to see how some of these updates actually operate. So I figured I'd go ahead and just do like a little walkthrough of all these updates and take you along with me as I figure them out. So let's get right into the video. All right, so first off, I wanted to take a look at the Star Stable news. So they made a little bit of a blurb about the riding clubs. So what's new? So, club owners can delegate responsibilities between club roles, choose which roles can invite new members, edit the club calendar, and more. Be sure to give permissions only to people in roles you trust. So, no one in my club. Um, <laughs> so, I actually really like that. That was something I was really hoping would happen um, when they updated the club system because it was always stressful at some points to have to change club rules or like update things and I wouldn't be able to log on to do it so it would just feel a bit unorganized when I didn't have a chance to update something when I had someone who like a club leader who's online who could change it for me but they couldn't because I was the only one who could edit anything so that's definitely going to be really helpful and I'm excited to see that. Um, the writing club window has updated visuals in a sleek new format. Okay so essentially I think they might be saying that it just looks classier um, so I think that's kind of all they're saying there. Um, and then finally, you can send mail to your entire club from the riding club window, plan your next trail ride, practice, or general chit chat. You can also send mail to certain club roles if you want to keep the conversation smaller. This will only work if you have been given the permission to do so in your club role. All right, so this is going to be really helpful for people who don't use things such as Discord for their clubs. I remember back when I was in a non-Discord club, it was very hard to communicate with the club as a whole if not everyone was online. So this is going to be so helpful to go to those clubs. And, you know, it's just fun. I'm probably going to, like, mail my club just, like, random things and annoy annoy them. Um, but that's, that's interesting. I actually wasn't expecting something involving mail, so I think it's kind of unique that they added that in there. Um... I will say it looks like, so that's the new look, that's the sleek new look I think that we're going for. Um, it honestly looks a bit like a computer program to me. Um, we'll see when I see it in the game. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I think there's just those three updates. If I'm being honest, I was hoping for a little bit more, however, the letting certain roles manage things is definitely going to be very helpful, so thank you, Star Stable, for that. So now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and go into the game. Alright, so I'm back in the game now, and let me just go ahead and click the riding club. Okay, okay so that is very dark, and... um. I'm I'm not sure. It just reminds me more of like a different online game, I feel like. It's very darker colors instead of the sort of lighter colors that they used in the past. So I can see all of my members and I can actually sort them by online, offline, name, or role. So let me just go ahead and click role. Okay, so then that sorts them by the role like it was in the original format. They would be sorted by the roles. Um, okay, and then 
And you could also sort by name. So then that would have the top name on top. So A's would obviously be first. Um, alrighty. So you can just sort those. And then I like that you can see only online people. I like that that's a sorting option because I used to have to like scroll through the entire list and like see who is online. But this is a much easier way of seeing who's online without having to like search for the members who are online in a way. All right. So now they have a little tab on the side here with everything that you can do. This definitely feels much more organized. However, it doesn't really give me Star Stable vibes. Um, so before I switch tabs, let's see, what is change permission? Oh, okay. So <laughs> a lot of check marks. Okay. So I can change the permissions of any role that I want to. I thought it was just going to be like club leaders could change things, but you, I could literally change novices' roles to, you know, whatever they want um as atomic roses is a discord club we honestly don't use a lot of this anymore however like i kind of mentioned at the start i used to be part of a non-discord club atomic roses used to use the calendar and such quite regularly so this would have been extremely helpful um, so let me just like for example give say i wanted my club leader to have all of the roles that just automatically does it that's nice and then i unclick that and they don't have it anymore um they could also add members or remove members um all right and then send club messages or change members roles okay i really like this setup it's very organized and then you can like save the permissions which i didn't make any changes here but um, all right, so let's move on to the calendar. So, again, this is so much more um, organized than it was in the past. So if I, so the all of the days are just lined up like this. Okay, I'm really bad at scrolling. Um, and then you can edit the information and be like, hey, today we have dressage practice and don't forget um <laughs> and then you can save that this is a much easier way of seeing it too i feel like because in the past club system update the calendar was so small for each like day so this is so much more organized and just clearer to see um Again, these colors kind of throw me off, though, because it doesn't really feel like a Star Stable game. It actually kind of reminds me of more of, like, a game that's based around, like, a theme of, like, a computer program for, like, all of their formatting, um, if that makes sense. Um, alright, so the calendar is pretty straightforward. You can enter whatever you want into each slide. Um, and then Club Settings... Oh, okay, I was going to say, does it get rid of the stuff you already had in there? Because that would have been annoying. Um, so it does not. So honestly, I will say this text is pretty small. So people who might have, there might be people who have a hard time seeing this because if I'm being honest, this text is just like really small to read right now. Um, also, don't mind my club information. Um, I have not updated that in ages, <laughs> um, but you can do club info, club rules, and then club settings. Oh, okay, there's a big old button if you want to disband now. There's a whole tab and everything if you want to delete your club. So, you know, I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever floats y'all's boats. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty straightforward as well. Um... It does have each thing up here, like writing club and then the tab that you're on. But again, all of this, it does feel like the information's all a little bit small. Um, it just like feels like the text is a bit smaller than it would be nice. Okay, so club mail. This is the exciting part. Um, 
So I'm going to put in a subject. I'm just going to say importance. Um, and my club won't understand this. Actually, they will probably attack me and be like, why does my mail fall? But, you know, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to send Atomic Roses a message, and I'm going to send it to everyone. So you can select, you know, whoever you want to be sent the mail. Um, I honestly think it could be really interesting to, like, send these before practices. However, again, since we are a Discord club, we don't really have a need for some of these features since we communicate through Discord a lot. However, this is just going to be so much more welcoming to people who don't use Discord. So I'm going to say important... Guys, we need an ugly outfit if it isn't toe-themed, I'm removing you from the club. This is the very important mail I'm going to send my members. Um, please respond back. ASAP. So I'm going to send this to everyone. This is honestly so neat and organized. The fact that you don't even have to go to the mailbox to send this mail. I like this a lot. I just don't think I'll use it a ton. The total of members who received the mail are 33. Okay. So I guess if someone had a full mailbox, it might tell you that, like, or it might say, like, 32 or, like, 30 received it if someone had, like, a full mailbox and potentially. Um... All right, so if I'm being honest, I do like how organized this new system is. However, I do miss the sort of lighter colors that it had with the old sort of club system. And the text feels a bit small to me. It would be nice if the text was bigger because it's just, I kind of had like had to squint a little bit and I, I don't even have bad eyesight. Um, so I would have I would have appreciated that. And I guess just going into the updates as a whole, um, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more than that. Like I'm definitely really beneficial for those clubs that are like chat clubs and such, you know. However, I would have liked to see something that could have made each club more unique, some sort of feature that each club could buy together in a way. Um, like, something just, like, a little bit more than this. However, I'm definitely very grateful that we do have these updates that Star Stable listened, um, and did update the system a little bit, but for me, I just, beyond, like, an organization aspect, don't see a ton of creativity, um, coming from this new system. So... You know, again, the mail is probably the coolest thing to me. I really like that. But the text is just so small. And just the, it feels like a computer program rather than Star Stable. Um, I do like that you can sort of see the shadow of your player in the background. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I do like that. Um, and I do like how you can sort your members by online and offline. That's definitely very helpful. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I wish there was a little bit more to this update than we got. Anyways, I hope I did a good job of showing you guys around the new club system from an owner's perspective and showed you guys you know, what you could do if you had all of the permissions for those roles. So thank you for watching. Please go enjoy the update or put in the comments what you would have liked to seen. Have s <laughs> put in the comments what you would have liked to have seen. Um, anyways, have a good day everyone. Bye.